My nigga Dave Chappelle killed it. Went on Saturday Night Live and they wasn't ready. Man. One of the coldest. That, that shouldn't just be a look monologue. That was a State of the Union address. Man. Oh. I mean, Dave, look, bro. God damn, you fucked him up. And it's like, what is this, um, what is this um, mob that's against him called? The Defamation League or something like that? It's one of them, Anti-Defamation. ADL, ADL Anti-Defamation League. You guys are losing your power as every day goes on. Mm-hmm. Y'all motherfuckers try to save my man out of pocket for that monologue. When the monologue was not only genius funny, it was necessary. Absolutely. He could get something like that almost weekly or monthly on, you know what I'm saying, topics and subjects. Uh, I mean, news. yo, Dave, see, I know a little bit about Dave Chappelle's story. I know one of his managers slash agents. I know how they fucked him over. And I watch Dave Chappelle sometimes talk about some of the things that happened to him. Mm-hmm. But it was like a perfect storm, a perfect moment, how they let him host Saturday Night Live. And of course, the wicked people in charge, some people call them the untouchables. I call them the bullshit a lot. <laughs> bullshit a lot. They have tried to put their fingers in the back of this man, and he still wind up hosting this show that they really field out people who can change your train of thought. Mm. That's what I call people like that. I think I'm the type of person, like, when people watch me, they can be like, you know what, I didn't even know you could do that or say that. I'm going to start thinking that way. That's what I think I am. And what he did on Saturday Night Live I'm sure it made a lot of people be like, wow, yeah. yeah you the get way what I'm he saying? Right, the way he Yeah, did. he opening it up. Yeah. Man, he is opening eyes and ears. Yeah. Profound statements, Brother Chappelle. And these people, these defamation league motherfuckers, like, you motherfuckers have always been racist in disguise. You you got on raincoats with white robes up under there. You, you've always been people who don't want the truth to be spoken. If you speak the truth, God damn it, they take your voice away. I got that from Chuck D. If you speak the truth, they take your voice away. So I salute my brother Dave Chappelle for going on Saturday Night Live and preaching. Because that's what he did to me. Somebody sent me the shit. I was like, what the fuck is somebody sent me this? What the fuck? Let me see what the fuck this is. I ain't know what the fuck it was. I'm like, you nigga the deer my joke? <laughs> <laughs> He's stupid. I be mean, jumping to conclusions sometimes. But I watched it and it was like, it made my day. And it then made my the day. Sketch, the sketch too. He was hilarious. I mean, they're just. Yeah. He was having a good time. Yeah. Um, uh, go on here and keep doing your thing, Brother mm-hmm. Chappelle, man. We we need shit like that. Cause goddamn it. It's 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 like, yo, man, I, I I don't understand how these people are bold enough in this day and time to think I mean, because the internet gives us confidence and um actually we we become more daring with the things we see because we're we're you know, we're numb to being afraid as we used to be at one time. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know how you guys think you're going to stop us from speaking the truth. I mean, I know you're in control of the internet. I know you're in control of the music. I know you're in control of what kids learn. Listen, man, in school, they are teaching the kids that it's not slavery. Those people came here looking for opportunity. That's what they're teaching the kids in school now. <laughs> they're trying to take <laughs> slavery out and hide who they are. You are the worst. Let me tell you something, man. Black people and Indians were here. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't war, war, it wasn't, it wasn't pillaging and raping and all like that, like how it was when you landed here. 
Because a lot of the youngsters don't know that. You landed here with war. And you got these things called defamation league? Are you fucking serious? Do you really want your history out there? Anti-defamation. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. you called it the anti-defamation That's league. That's what they call it. Yeah. Defamation league. The yeah. fuck motherfucker. <laughs> the bullshit a lot. Y'all motherfuckers, your history on this planet is the reason we're all separated right now. Y'all the reason Darlene ain't got nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. If it was harmony in the world, Darlene would be happy, goddammit. Now that, I have to contest. They, come, they that, come to cause confusion. That's what they doing. I am happy. If y'all would have never came here, Marcus, it would, you wouldn't even notice how much the year is because we'd still be naked. <laughs> <laughs> y'all had us wearing shirts and shit. Now Marcus get exposed. <laughs> you uh, yeah. thinking of what they <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nah, I'm cool. just saying. Maybe man. that league can help Corey out. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they, they can help, help me. Look at me. Can, maybe they can help his situation out. Look yeah, at me. He'll still be eating green grass, big cow He ass. won't be the uh, purple the rain. <laughs> he won't be following women. He won't be complaining every <laughs> week about women. No, nah, Corey. Whoa, and Corey whoa. Nah, they probably help Corey. He probably be hitting bitches with a club upside the head. I'm a sex shooter shooting up in your direction. Corey would have been a headbutt king back in the day. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> He's a proud trick. Master of the headbutt league. 